Hey YouTube, thought it was time to take you through a full uh, tour of the fish room, minus the reefs and minus the shrimp tanks. But I've uh, been doing some random updates where I just highlight a few tanks lately and thought it was time to go ahead and do a full full update on all the big tanks. So um, let's get started. Before we do though, um, I just want to remind everybody, AquaticSupportSystems.com, we carry all your uh, fish food needs, Southern Delight fish food. We've just gotten, uh, like I've talked about lately, the big bottles in stock. Uh, we're also um, kind of clearancing out um, what I've got left of the um, bulk bags, the one and two pound bags. Um, some of the uh, um, formulas, large cichlid and goldfish, I think are already sold out, but I've still got some of the others in stock. So check that out at a reduced price. And uh, the new bulk bottles, I'll grab one here real quick, just a random one. This is actually the small koi, so probably not something a lot of you cichlid keepers are into, but these bulk bottles, um, one pound, some of them are more than one pound. Um, those are available now on the website, aquaticsupportsystems.com, and they're kind of a new alternative to the, uh, to the old bags that we're really excited about. So, um, Also, uh, Aquashella, coming up at the end of March, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna have a booth. Um, so come see me, come say hi. Um, if you've never been to one of these national fish shows, I really recommend doing so. I went to my first one just last year, uh, Aquatic Experience, and I really had a good time. So I decided I wanted to do Aquashella. I'll probably do the Chicago one too in August, but uh, this one is in Dallas, Texas, and it's coming up at the end of March. So uh, go check it out. Come by and say hi if you're there, and uh, let's get on with the tour. All right, so we're just going to start with the Feste tank this week. Um, as you can see, um, their coloration's looking really good. Um, they're about ready to spawn again. Her tube's starting to drop. Uh, the last spawn was unsuccessful in that uh, I pulled the fry uh, right before I had to leave for a 10 day vacation. And um, you know, they just didn't survive in the uh, tank they were in. But um, I get a lot of comments on these guys when people come to visit my fish room and you know, a lot of bigger cichlid keepers are really into the female feste because of the massive redness and the awesome stripes and everything. But the male really can be a beautiful looking fish too, as you can see here. Just kind of this awesome goldish color with some red in it and some stripes that actually do kind of come out, especially when they're in uh, breeding dress. So I expect these guys to breed within the next week here or so. So hopefully keep our fingers crossed. And hopefully I'll be able to pull some fry this time too. Uh, down below, we still have the Trimax here. Um, still haven't decided exactly what I want to do with these because I have the other pair that are regularly spawning now. But uh, I'm having a hard time letting go of these two for some reason. You just start getting attached to some fish. And I also think, well, if I let these go and something happens with the other pair, then because they're still pretty young. And I'll show you guys those too in this tour, but um, I feel like, well, I let these go, then I, then I don't have any Trimax. But they're starting to get pretty big, especially this big guy here and this one. Some of the other ones are quite a bit smaller, but a lot of people ask um, if I'm ready to ship these because um, they're interested. At this point, I, I'm still not, but I'll definitely um, let everybody know in a video and Facebook posts and things like that if if and when I'm ready to start doing that. Um, over here, I'm just rolling on a chair here, sorry, um, are the uh, Hadiensis. They're doing good. I uh, haven't spawned in a, in a little while now. There's the female and there's the uh, the big guy, the male. I've been thinking lately I need to come up with a name for this pair, kind of a cool name. I'm not sure yet what, but um, yeah, these guys really dig this pair though. He's really put on a lot of size over the last uh, couple of months and uh, really, really uh, happy with this, with this male. Well, well, both of them, but the male especially. Up above here then is the uh, Redis Latest tank. As usual, no spawning. And sorry about the glass, if you can see water dripping and stuff. I just didn't uh, take the time to 
uh, clean the glass in this video. I just uh, had some time during the day and I thought, hey, I'm just going to quick shoot, shoot this video here because I hadn't gotten a fish room update out really for February yet. So this guy, as you can see above his eye, has a little bit of a wound right now. I'm not worried about it at all. Should heal up probably just from fighting or trying to get into the tube uh, to see the female. Still got a couple Sebuldi in here. Um, they did kill probably half of them. So that's unfortunate, but it was the risk I took and uh, thought it would pay off. Unfortunately, it didn't. This big dude with his flat face and his nuchal hump. What an awesome specimen. Anyway, oh, you know, one other thing too, people have been asking or saying, I wish you'd put the tank sizes in these videos. I did one recently where I did that, but I'll do it again. This is 180 gallon, 180 gallon stacked up. That's a six foot by, what is it? Two foot by two foot, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm always bad with remembering measurements, but it is a six foot tank and it is 180 gallons. This here is 125 gallon and then a 180 below. Sorry, there's my chair. Um, 125 gallon is a six foot tank. Also just a smaller footprint and not as high, 180. 300 gallon over here, um, that's Beast and Magnus' tank. That's an eight foot tank by two foot by, gosh, I can't remember. And I'll get back to them in a minute. And then this, these are both 210 gallon, seven foot by two foot by 18 inches, I wanna say. So those gives you an idea on some of the bigger tanks. Then these are 75 gallons, top and bottom, 20 longs. 75 gallon, 15 gallon trip tank, 75 gallon, 90 gallon, 120 fat boy. All the previously mentioned tanks are four foot, different uh, depths and different heights. We'll go back to Magnus and Beast. Magnus has kind of been sulking lately and he's kind of, his color has kind of faded a little bit from time to time. Last night he was looking really good. The light makes the poop that he's got hanging out from him now look uh, white, but it's, it's really not. Although that is kind of stringy, so I'm going to uh, investigate a little bit and make sure that he's not sick. Beast, same deal. Although they've been doing a lot of this lately. She and she'll blonde up as you kind of saw slightly right there on camera. Um, I don't know, every so often I see that kind of behavior and I wonder, are they maybe gonna do a, 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 another one last spawn? Who knows, they're getting old, they're beat up and I'm just letting them live their lives out here. At least that's the current plan right now. Leave a comment below um, if you think that that uh, poop, not to talk about poop, but if you think that that is a sign of a disease of some sort, let me know what you think it might be. All right, the 210 arowana slash everything else tank. Probably gonna pull the silver dollars out of here soon, but I'm not quite sure. Got the Midas in here still. Got this just beast, Rio Blanco Moda from Sean Hyden's line. And then the female is uh, really out quite a bit more lately and uh, doing well. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll pair up at some point. As you can see, the loaches are in here. And then uh, recent addition, I picked up eight black belts from a local guy that was wanting to get rid of them. Those are a Vieja Ma, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the last name, but street name, common name, black belt cichlid. Um, so, uh, some of them are hiding, some of them are a little tattered up, getting used to their new tank mates, but uh, all in all, they're doing pretty good in here, and uh, it's interesting because uh, the guy who I got them from, Dan Rowe, um, he, uh, he had them on white um, pool filter sand substrate, and they weren't nearly as colored up as this, and instantly, um, I don't know if it's the substrate or the other fish in the tank, but they've definitely colored up quite a bit more and uh, that makes me happy. Down below here, we've got 
my F1 Real Meg Umbi pair. These are Wildcat Umbies, if I forgot to say it. Um, Optimus and Matrix. They're doing good. No spawning activity lately. They like to damage the filters, and that's how they spend their time. Hobbies include damaging filters, trying to get heaters unattached, and things like that. He's looking real well. The blue on him is quite amazing, I, I think, and uh, he's got awesome freckling. Um, he's got a few brothers out there in the hobby that uh, are also looking real well. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that bloodline get carried on, the Magnus and Beast bloodline. Female is not related. I forget the name of the uh, parents, but they were also a, a pair that Mike Mann once had. We'll move on to the Trimac pair over here in the 75. They've recently spawned again, and um, I pulled some fry, quite a bit of fry actually. It was a pretty massive spawn. I pulled some fry, and um, not, a, not a lot of them made it, but I do have some swimming around, well, in the tanks below, although I'm not going to show you because they're pretty messy right now and they need to be cleaned. <clears throat> My Midas growouts from Shido's brother are doing well, as always. Looking forward to seeing these grow out so I can put them in a bigger tank. It's a 75 gallon down there. And then uh, here's a bunch of the big bottles, Southern Delight and some of the other foods that we carry. A bunch of Sarah down there. Um, we'll take a look at Colossus here, the King Confa 9.9 flower horn. He's doing well. Um, I got him a Pleco again. Just picked him up from the local fish store, trade in from somebody, got him real cheap. Um, as you can see, a lot of the uh, back wall algae now the pleco's working on it looks kind of funny but for some reason i don't like that look in my tanks a lot of people like it it's fine i've seen it where it looks real good in tanks but so i figured i'd get another pleco in here to control the algae and uh you know give them a little tank mate too i guess but there's a local flower horn competition that's going to be happening. Well, I don't, it's, it's happening locally, but I think it's actually a nationally sanctioned one. I thought about maybe showing this guy. I've never shown a fish before, but I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's a ways off, but I'm thinking about maybe entering him. I just don't think that the tail, though, on him is perfect enough to, to do well. Everything else on this fish, I think, would be. But the tail has always just been a little bit kind of, I don't know, chopped up, if you will. I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway, look at that pattern. Down below is the Midas pair, Cheeto's brother and his wife. No spawning, but they're living well in harmony. Um, not much to say about him other than I really enjoy him and how interactive he is. Really cool fish. You know, just like his brother upstairs, Cheeto. Still haven't named this guy. I don't know if I ever will. I don't always name all of my fish. Sometimes I name them if there's a name that I think fits. Other times I keep a name if I got them from somebody that had already named them. So, that's that guy. Um, across the street from him is the uh, Rio Blanco Moda RTM male from Sean Hyden. This guy's about a foot long, doesn't have a female at this time. I'm just kind of letting him hang out for now until I decide what I want to do. I know I've said that before and, uh, you know, sometimes I take a long time to make decisions or get lazy. So that's it. <clears throat> Red magma flower horn up here, doing good also. This little freckle thing. I thought it was a wound, but I'm calling it a freckle because it's been there for several months. I think that's just a permanent part of him, which makes him unique. Um, yeah. 
See if I can get a little bit of a side view of him. You know, he wants to kill the camera, so. But he's doing good. There's a red magna flower horn versus the King Kampfa 9.9 .9 flower horn. We'll take you upstairs and show you uh, Cheeto, and then we'll, uh, we'll get you on your way. All right, so we're up in the office uh, checking out Cheeto and uh, his lady. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, they've spawned a couple times, but haven't successfully been able to uh, keep or even pull out of the tank any of their fry. But uh, Cheeto's an awesome Midas Cichlid Amphilopus Citronellus. And um, this is an F1 female Midas from Ken Davis's line. I didn't get it directly from him. I got it from Matt Han. But uh, they're doing well. Kind of the, uh, I guess you'd say the channel mascot. Kind of the favorite uh, fish from all my uh, tanks. People like to comment and talk about him the most. Um, he's a good friend to have up in the uh, office too. I'll just show you real quick. Uh, the 90 gallon planted tank, even though it's not a big cichlid tank, is doing real well. Got some uh, cardinal tetras and red cherry shrimp in there. Things are going good. So that's really it for the tour. At this point, I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, if you would uh, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com, um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the website traffic really helps our business um, as far as Google ratings go. So even if you're not interested in buying anything, go check out the website for me. Do me a favor and uh, just thumb around in a little bit. If you are interested in buying something, look at this guy. Oh. If you are interested in buying something though, we do sell uh, several brands of fish food, including our flagship brand, Southern Delight, um, shrimp food, all sorts of other um, aquarium related items as well. So thanks to everybody that watches these videos. Uh, we recently hit 13,000 subscribers and I greatly appreciate that. All you guys that have watched these videos over all the years. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. I've got a playlist uh, for all my different types of tanks. Go ahead and check those out. Get lost in it. And until next time, thanks for watching.